Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today, we're going to do a Steely Dan marathon, so I'm very excited. Um, uh, Alexia and I, we have heard almost like, we have heard most of Steely Dan. We just need um, to listen to the last two albums, and then there's a few songs in between, like from the first album, some stuff from Katie Lied and stuff like that. But uh, today um, I'm going to do Kings from uh, the first album, Can't Buy a Thrill. I'm going to do Here at the Western World. This is from the Gold album. So I think this is like a special track that's not um, on any of the normal albums. Um, I should research that Here at the Western World. But I mean, okay, I'm just going to listen to it. I'm going to listen to it from Gold. I'll figure out if it's on another uh, album, but I don't think so. Then from Katie Lied, Daddy Don't Live in That New York City No More. In That Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Don't Live in That New York City No More. Okay, from Katie Lied. And then <clears throat> here are the two. This is from the Nightfly, Ruby Baby, and I love the Nightfly. I love that album, and I also love, um, of course, the second one. Um, let's see here. Kama Kiriad. Kama Kiriad, we've done like one or two from that, Alexia and I, and we're gonna, I'm going to do uh, Tea House on the Tracks. So, now... All we, every time we do a Stephen, um, Stephen <laughs> Donald Fagan reaction, it gets blocked for like two or three days. So that's why I'm doing it right now because it's going to get blocked. And then I dispute it and then it's going to get unblocked and then I can upload it on YouTube. Uh, actually, when I upload it on YouTube, it gets blocked. I don't know. It just happens every single time we've done a Donald Fagan reaction from his solo records and we upload it on YouTube, it immediately gets blocked. And then since we paused, um, it, it, they unblock it. So so that's a good thing. So, um, uh, of course, I wanted to thank real quick the person that uh, did this request, which is, uh, let's see here real quick, Mickey D. Thank you, Mickey D. Um, I just wanted to make sure because I just made a mistake the other day and I gave the... Uh, the reaction to the wrong person i mean the credits but thank you mickey d for sponsoring the reaction for sponsoring this request thank you so much and even though it's without alexia yesterday we talked about it on our live on our two-year anniversary and it's uh even she said hey it's impossible for me to react to everything that nick does it's and even though it's steely dan or yes or genesis you know so but the cool thing is that she'll listen to these songs like right away tonight. Like if we go for a drive, we usually when we want to relax, like we either like lay on the floor and listen to the music or we go for a drive and we can really turn it up because we don't really want to sit here with headphones where we always sit. So we, we go for a drive and we really pump it up in the, in the car. So here it goes. Um, now let's Can't Buy a Thrill is 72. Um, then gold is 82, um, Katie lied 75, then, um, let's see, the nightfly is 82, and Kamakiriad 93, okay, I w just want to check one thing, here at the western world, let's see, here at the western world, Okay. It is from the greatest hits. Yeah, it's from this gold album. Cool. Okay, awesome. So it's a song that we have, of course, never heard then. Uh, I'm, I just wanted to make sure. So here we go, man. Um, I'm super excited. I mean, as always, Steely Dan literally has become one of my favorite like bands to just like everything. It's just like so good. Every time I listen to like the same even the same songs it's always something new comes up or some crazy little 
excuse me, like detail that I missed, you know, even on like the 20th, 30th time. Like, it's just so good. Okay, so here we go with uh, Kings. And thank you so much. If this is your first time um, on the channel, consider subscribing, consider liking the video. Um, we have a lot of reaction videos together, uh, my wife and I. Alexia, almost the entire catalog, but we're, ju we're just missing, you know, Two Against Nature and uh, Everything Must Go. And then we're done, you know, like it's insane. All right, so here we go with Kings and everybody enjoy. Thank you. Okay, I have to be completely honest, uh, I've heard this before, but only live and only uh, interpreted by the amazing Citizen Dan band that's uh, they are Colorado, um, actually Denver-based band, and if you're watching this, you guys are amazing. Uh, I've heard this, and I I was like, I don't know this song, you know, <laughs> which, what is the song? I, I, but I, I remember the... So I've heard it played live, but I've never heard the original. So here we go. So it's really good. <laughs> of course it is. But uh, let's continue.
awesome. Thank you so much, Mickey D, you know, for just for figuring out what, what songs we've heard. Like, did you make a list? Like, how did you even, like, manage to know? Because we've done, like, maybe 30, 35 reactions on YouTube of Steely Dan. So thank you <laughs> just for figuring out, like, what haven't they done? Like, you have to, you have to go through all the videos. Man, but that's insane so thank you i really appreciate it what a great song what a great first album you know what a style and and first when i first heard steely dan my first steely dan song was peg and i was like okay i love it because of the guitar solo but i still don't understand i don't know what style this is and i was like struggling with it and then i was like okay then we heard caves of altamir and i was like wow this is this is amazing and then we did uh, we did glamour profession and i was like hooked after that solo of steve khan um and then and then we went back to like Ka Katie lied and count on to ecstasy and I couldn't really I didn't get the style it was too like okay it doesn't sound like that jazzy you know what I love about Steely Dan that um and I know a lot of people don't like that they, that it's called yacht rock but it is you know it's it's it, for me it's not like that's just the term I don't consider it yacht rock but it's smooth jazz it's like rock with a lot of jazz elements and that's what it is. It's just very, uh, it's a fusion between rock and jazz. And that's what it is. And it, it becomes jazzier every single record. You know, it got the, a little bit less rock. But the, it always has the funk and and the rock elements that make Steely Dan so great. But, uh, like, for example, this song now from here, like here at the Western World, I have no idea because I've basically, yeah, like I've never even heard the name Daddy don't live in that New York City no more. Um in that yeah. Um I've I've seen the title, but I've never heard of it. Um so okay. Here at the Western World, let's go. Maybe hey, the cool thing about doing a Steely Dan reaction, it's like maybe this is my new favorite song of them because every Steely Dan song is amazing. I've never heard a bad steely dance song it's just ridiculous like i've heard it i'm not gonna say i've heard bad songs of many of the amazing um bands on this planet but steely dan is just one of those bands that they can't cut a bad a song they can't they can't produce uh something that's not good it's just wonderful it's just one of those bands okay let's go
to figure out where this is from. Like, what was the uh, the time? I mean, it doesn't sound like gaucho at all. It doesn't sound like Asia. I don't even think it was made during the uh, royal scam. Uh, it, I think this sounds more like literally. It has like this countdown to ecstasy vibe because I I can hear a little bit of like Doctor Wu in there, you know. See, oh no, no, no! It, countdown to ecstasy. I think I'm wrong. Let me see. I think I meant Katie. Yeah, it sounds like from it sounds like a cut from Katie Light that wasn't included because Doctor Wu, um, bad sneakers, your gold teeth. Yeah, it's just because you know why? Because of the backing, back, uh, backup. The backing vocals, the, the, the singers he has, they sound like from from uh, from Katie Light. But okay, I could be wrong. Let me know. I was really like trying to identify. This is a beautiful song. I love the chord structure. Um, the whole song is beautiful. And I I and I paused it so late because I got I d didn't want to, but you know you have to sometimes. But uh, let's continue. Let's listen to the whole thing. Here at the Western World Wow, man. So good. So freaking good. Okay, let's let's check something. Cause it's gonna drive me in brick insane. 1976. 1976. Okay, one year before Asia. Oh, Royal Scan? Hmm, let's see. This tune was a part of the session that produced the Royal Scan, but for some reason got left on the cutting floor. Wow. I was wrong, man. But I mean, it did sound like Katie lied. So I might buy a year off, but well, you know, not, not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, all right. Now we're going to go with Katie lied. And I don't know the, the title is daddy don't live in that New York city no more. There we go. All right, let's go. <laughs>
I love that. That that drill. Um, okay. That was a great song. I love that. I mean, and, and the lyrics are so like, they're so dark, man. But I mean, I can't. With Steely Dan, it doesn't happen. Like, I think I've... I don't know if I've ever cried with Steely Dan. I, I don't even remember. We've listened to so much, but I think once because I was just so happy that we we're listening to Steely Dan because it's been a, it had been so long and we're finally listening to new Steely Dan. I was just like out of happiness. I think I shed a tear, but this was great. All these have been awesome. Um, I mean, it, they sound on the older side, but I love that. You know, I love. And I mean, even Gaucho, it was 1980, man, you know, 1980. Um, so, okay, now, Donald Fagan is a soul artist. So those those two songs are probably going to get blocked. But uh, I guess when once they block them, I put in a dispute. Um, so these ones I'm going to pause 100%, even twice if I have to, um, because then I dispute the block and then the record company reviews it. They look at the video and they see that I haven't uploaded the entirety of the song and then they unblock it and then we can watch it. So that's the way they've done it um, with the other Donald Fagan stuff. So here comes the Nightfly Ruby Baby. Here we go. get that gaucho vibe this is what is what i was talking about so every time i listen to like anything from the nightfly and we have done so far uh igy we've done uh green Fl no new frontier ba -dum -ba. Ba -dum -ba. Ba -dum. Ba -dum. it's just it's literally a continuation of of, of steely dan i love it okay Ruby, how I want you Like a ghost I'm gonna haunt you Ruby, Ruby When will you be mine? Each time I see you Baby, my heart cries Ruby, 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 baby I'm gonna steal you away music doesn't make you dance then i don't think you have a pulse it's impossible it's impossible not to move it's like 
it's like Tower of Power, you know, Tower of Power. There's a few bands that you have to, like, it's almost like you can't, you can't sit still. It's crazy. I love everything. The piano is so jazzy. Um, synthesizers here are beautiful. Like, the whole thing is so well orchestrated by Donald, man. The bass, man, he always has the best musicians. It's ridiculous. Um, if you guys want to, I'm, I'm so happy. Um, so the guys from Citizen Dan made me like an little offer, like as a, because they're super nice and they're like super, they're just super nice, these people. Um, and great musicians. I mean, they literally play like the records, you know? And they were like, hey, you know, maybe next time, not the last time, but the first time we went to see them, um, they were like, hey, maybe in, in two more gigs, if you want to play, you know, imagine how it must feel to have that that band behind you, you know, that bass and that drummer and that keyboard player. And the keyboard player is super nice. He has a YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to talk about that in the next video because I have to, like, I want to, I could put it in the description. Uh, visit the... Um, the YouTube channel, and um, he also gives piano lessons on there. Great guy, I love him. Um, and they, they, they told me, hey, why don't you learn two songs? And I, I already know, um, Kid Charlemagne. I know the solo. Like, if you want to watch it, it's on the channel. Just type in Nick and Lex, Kid Charlemagne, and let me think. Um, let me know what you think. I pretty much got it down, but when I played it, when I recorded it. Um, for the channel, I basically had learned it in two days or something, um, a couple of hours, but now I play it way better. So, but let me know. And I, I also do the, uh, the solo of peg, which is very difficult to get down. Even, um, you know, the, uh, the original, um, what's his name? Creighton or something. Uh, he even says like, it's really hard to like get the solo down, like in tune. Like, I don't know what's what I was doing, but it's really good. So check it out. Like check out Peg or or if you want to see me play. Um okay, let's continue. <laughs>
so good. <laughs> oh man, it's uh, I I never watch my own reactions. It would be hilarious to see me like just like, you know, doing the the stank face all like. 25 minutes long hilarious um okay so this is tea house on the tracks um from the second solo album donald fagan 1993 kamakiri ad I've, I've read so many articles about people it's like oh this is my favorite album and me and my dad used to listen to this all the time i wish i could have listened to this with my dad um now, my dad and I uh, were like a lot of years apart, but he's a jazz guy. He's a complete jazz guy. He got me into jazz, but when I tried to play him jazz fusion, he was like, no, look, no, I'm not doing this. And uh, the only thing where we clicked um, was Tower of Power. When I played him Tower of Power, he was like, yeah. That's that. So I'm sure he would have loved Steely Dan. Now, I don't know if he was into Steely Dan. I never asked him. He never played me Steely Dan. Um, but he did have a discotheque in, in the 70s and 80s. So I'm sure he got a hold of the music. Maybe, like, now, I don't really know. Like, I have some friends in Germany that are um, older. And they say Steely Dan wasn't that big in Germany. So... I don't know, but he told me that he always got the best music first and um, because of he had some connections in the States and stuff. So I guess maybe he never talked about it, but then again, he never really talked about other jazz stuff that I know he l was listening to, like Paul Desmond or uh, Stan Getz, you know, uh, Oscar Peterson, stuff like that. That's just I found that out by myself because... I remembered the the covers, the covers of the CDs and stuff, because I would go through his CDs and, but he would never be like, hey, listen to like, let's listen to some Stan Getz, you know? So, yeah. So maybe he did. Maybe he did know them. Who knows? But let's, uh, this is going to be the last song of the, the marathon. Thank you, Mickey D. This has been a blast, as you can see. Having a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Here we go. happening in the back i mean like the guitar literally just like pops the strings and they're doing all this muting of stuff and it's just fantastic the the trumps are always like like a build up and the sax it's always building it's 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 like a he's such a good storyteller um not just with the lyrics but with the music the music is so alive and you can't really hear everything in a steely dan song or donald fagan it requires multiple and multiple and multiple you know listen um li listenings listens um or however you say it but it's the same with 
but Prague, you know, you you miss stuff. There's so much going on, so much richness. Oh man, it's so good. Okay, let's go back a little bit. The Seagull Brothers slamming out a bio. So sleek it should have been a crime. I mean, Taco, little Amy, come leave off the big front line. The crowd is bouncing, sick with the pulse. You get a case of guarded feet. Then the room turns bright, fills up with light. It's like the second time that he uses like a little track in the background of people like, you know, drinking, dancing, talking, clapping. It's all, it almost like it feels like a little like contra continuation of um, Ruby Baby, this one. Uh, it has a little bit of the same vibe, like being in a nightclub, you know, really cool.
I mean, what can I say? You know, there's nothing you can say. Um, oh, let me connect this. Um, it's just so good. You know, it's ridiculous how good this uh, musician is. I mean, Donald, of course, and, and Walter and everybody involved. Um, and they always got the best, you know, they always got the best. And um, there's no band like them, you know, it's really I've um, now there's one person and I can't I don't really want to spoil the surprise, but he's like, hey, I'm going to I'm going to find you a band that's as good as the Dead. And you just let you let, give me some time. And I'm like, oh, sh you know, <laughs> And uh, like, I'm going to find you your new Steely Dan. I was like, I don't want a new Steely Dan. But then again, yes, I do want one. I do want another band that gives me so much joy and so much just like, look, I'm just like sitting here dancing 25 minutes. Um, I do want to, I mean, I because the Doobies are great. I love the Doobies. Doobie Brothers early and the later one. Uh, just fantastic band and there's like little feet fantastic band um there's so much good stuff that that is in that category for me even though cd dan is like their own category but i mean let's say you know a lot of instrumentation sax trumpets piano synth bass guitar everything that makes a good jazz song funk or rock but in that, and also, but also the thing is with Steely Dan, it is also Donald Fagan's voice, you know, and I've said this so many times, he's maybe not the best singer, but he is the singer and that voice is just perfect for the band. We don't need anything else. I mean, Michael McDonald, when he comes in and does like backing vocals, it's amazing, but I don't, I don't think if Michael McDonald would have been the singer for Steely Dan, I mean, yes, it would have worked, I guess, but it it's a different it's a different voice because like Donald Fagan has a very particular way of singing and as he holds back and sometimes he exaggerates a little bit his voice he puts it a little bit higher a little bit lower you know and Michael McDonald always sings like an angel so it's like Michael McDonald always sounds like Michael McDonald Donald Fagan sounds like all different every time he can like almost like camouflage his, his voice and and just like okay so i'm and josie i'm gonna sing this way asia i'm gonna sing that way glamour profession he doesn't even sound like donald fagan you know so it's it's just amazing it's just so good so as you can see i'm a, a steely dan freak you know um but it's always so cool to do these first time reactions, especially to this band, but all of it, you know, yes, there are some songs where I'm like, very serious. Um, you can't be serious to this stuff. You can't sit, you know, you can't sit normal. Now that if I listen maybe to Genesis or like the other day I listened to, um, uh, what was it? Um, Captain captain oh my god give me a second and i just broke down i just broke down in tears because it was so freaking sad it was so sad um billy joel yeah captain jack i couldn't handle myself like i literally was like i was embarrassed because i was like oh my god nick like pull yourself together but i can't because it was just too real also, these lyrics are very dark, and, and, and if you put them into contrast, they're very sad sometimes. It about, it's about drugs, and it's about, you know, all these things. But the music is so, like, you know, it's not, it doesn't sound sad. Uh, the composition is just, yes, they use minor chords and stuff, and uh, but not in that way, I guess. So, hey. Thank you so much, Mickey D, for this awesome marathon. I enjoyed it so much. Um, thank you for watching. If you're a Steely Dan fan, check out our other review, uh, other reactions uh, with my wife, Alexia. And you're going to have a lot of fun because we're always happy and we're always smiling when Steely Dan is on. So 
check them out and maybe you you can check out some yes some rush genesis metallica mega death iron maiden judas priest pat metheny alan holdsworth there's a little bit of everything on the channel and it's growing by the day so we just hit 52,500 today i'm super happy i'm super proud and thank you so much everyone for watching this channel love you guys and i'll see you in the next one take care <music>